my really simple, easy makeup routine today. So I don't like the look of a lot of makeup on my face. I want my face to look natural, not like caked on. So I keep it really simple, just bring some color back in um, and make things look really natural. So I always start off with a combination of the Drunk Elephant Tinted Sunscreen with some of the Bronzing Serum. This is basically my foundation. I don't use foundation on top of this. This just brings some color into my face. So, I use about this much of the sunscreen. And then I use about one pump of the bronzer. So about that much and just combine them together. It looks like this at first and then I just get that on there. I do bring it down onto my neck. Even though it is not foundation, I still want everything to blend. I found this that this actually stays on pretty much throughout the day when I get ready for bed and I take my makeup off. If I don't do a double cleanse, it actually still comes off on my towel. So Okay, so there's that. For under my eyes, I use the Fenty Beauty Concealer, and this is in shade 170. So I just put a little bit under my eyes. Sometimes I'll use my finger. Today I'm just gonna use a, a damp beauty blender to blend it in. So I just tap that in really quick. I'm pretty picky about my concealers. For a while I was using the Tarte Shape Tape, which I liked, but it just felt like it was a little bit too thick for the kind of makeup that I like. So I got this one, I like it so far. I don't think it's like the winner for what I'll stick to, but it's not bad. Sometimes I will use the YSL, I think it's called Radiant Touch. Sometimes I'll honestly use this instead of concealer. It just kind of helps with any of the dark circles and still brightening things up. I think you can use this as a highlighter as well. Okay, so there's that. After that, I use powder. So I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty in butter. I got the like sample size, which this has lasted me quite a long time. Um, okay, so I just put some in the cap, swirl it around, tap it for under my eye, tap for under my eye. Since I do start, tend to get a little oily in my T-zone, I, I like to Put a little bit in the areas that I get a little bit oily just to keep things matte. Okay. Then to bring a little bit of color to my face, I've been using the Tarte Blush in Peaceful. I previously was using this Morphe Blush brush, but it sheds so much. I've had this for several years and it still sheds on my face. So I'm going to get rid of this. I just got the Real Techniques Blush brush. I actually have two of these, so it's like an older version. This one I actually use for bronzer when I'm trying to be a little bit more, um, like wear a little bit more makeup. So I've been using this, it just gives like a nice, nice soft color to the cheeks just to bring a little bit of life back into your face. Okay, so that's good. Then for brows, my eyebrows are microbladed, so you might be able to see a little bit of that. So I just like to use 
a little bit of brow gel. This is the Gimme Brow. I'm gonna try the um, Kush Brow by Milk next and see if I like that just cause I asked them to microblade a little bit more fluffy and I wanna get something that kind of controls or like keeps hairs in place a little bit better. I feel like this one gives good color, but it doesn't really, it's not a good like gel to keep hairs in place. So there's that. I do like to um, curl my eyelashes. So I use the Shu Umera eyelash curler. So it's hard to do this um, so far away, but I just do a quick little curl, quick little curl so there's that sometimes if I want to wear eyeshadow which I can today I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize in Marie Antoinette I like it I feel like it does crease a lot by the end of the day so I use it and then I put um, powder on top. So I just do a quick little dab right around the lash line and then I just bring it underneath as well. Same thing with this side. My dog's drinking out of the toilet. Okay. I like the Tartlet in Bloom palette. Um, I'm just going to lay this on top just to try and keep it from creasing. So I like to do a combination of the Funny Girl and the Rocker. Just to get that same color and just kind of lay it on top. Bring it underneath. Um, this brush is by Morphe. This one does not shed, so I don't mind this one. Okay, so that's done. Then for mascara, I use the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Um, I think this one is in Blackest Black. I don't buy any waterproof mascaras. I just find I have a really hard time getting it off at night. So I just like to use normal. I don't have a problem with it coming down um, or flaking. I don't like the really spidery. I just like to give it a little bit of some color, length, and volume. So that's done. Okay, so that's my really easy, fast makeup look. I usually do this in a matter of five minutes, um, just because I'm usually rushing for work, but I really like how it's just that simple color. You can see my skin, nothing looks caked up. Um, yeah, just really natural. And everything I found, it lasts throughout the day. That's one thing about each of these products that I really, really like. The blush lasts all day. The um, concealer lasts all day. So yeah, lasts me through a full work shift. Okay, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.